Hello friends, welcome to Dental Digest Plus. Today's topic is dental amalgam. Please subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon, so that you can get regular updates, for the new videos. As we all know, dental amalgam is the oldest direct restorative material, which is used to restore the carious lesion. Technically amalgam means an alloy of two or more metals, of which one of the constituents is mercury. Now let's see the definition of dental amalgam. Dental amalgam is an alloy of mercury, silver, copper, and tin, which may also contain palladium, zinc, and other elements, to improve handling characteristics and clinical performance. Now let's see the definition of dental amalgam alloy. It is an alloy of silver, copper, and tin, that is formulated and processed, in the form of powder particles or compressed pellets. So, Dental amalgam contains mercury, and dental amalgam alloy is an alloy without mercury. Nowadays, carious teeth are restored with tooth-colored restorative materials like composites, and glass inomer cements because of its aesthetic value. So, use of the dental amalgam is very limited. But, dental amalgam has a very good clinical performance in terms of the retention of the restoration. Now let's see the indications of dental amalgam. Dental amalgam is indicated in class 1 and class 2 cavities, in the posterior teeth. Dental amalgam lasts very long in class 1 and class 2 teeth preparations. Dental amalgam is used as a core build-up material. And over that core structure we can put a crown made from any material. Dental amalgam is used for cuspal restoration, in combination with retentive pins. Because, restoration can be dislodged in cuspal areas we need additional support from retentive pins. Dental amalgam can be used as a dye material. Now, what is dye? Dye is a positive reproduction of prepared teeth, which can be made from a gypsum product, epoxy resin, a metal, or a refractory material. In case of the amalgam dye, they are made by packing amalgam, into impression made of impression compound. Dyes made of amalgam exhibits superior strength, resistance to abrasion, and reproduce fine details and sharp margins. Dental amalgam can be used in carious areas that are having heavy occlusal load. Because dental amalgam has good compressive strength it can withstand the heavy occlusal load. Dental amalgam can also be used as an abutment in removable partial denture. Abutment means tooth providing support to the prosthesis like removable partial denture. It is not preferable but dental amalgam can also be used in class 3 and class 5 cavities, but only when aesthetics is not compromised. Nowadays in the field of a dentistry, there are so many tooth-colored restorative materials, which can be used in aesthetic areas like in class 3 and class 5 cavities. Classification of Amalgam Alloy There are many types of dental amalgam alloy, and this is how alloy is classified. Classification of alloy according to number of alloyed metals. Binary alloys, with two metals, silver, and tin. Tertiary alloys, with three metals, silver, tin, and copper. And quaternary alloys, with four metals, silver, tin, copper, and indium. Classification of alloy according to particle size. Microcut, fine cut, and coarse cut. Classification of alloy according to copper content. Low copper with copper content less than 6%, and high copper with copper content more than 6%. Classification of alloy according to zinc content. Zinc containing, with zinc content more than 0.01%, and zinc free, with zinc content less than 0.01%. Classification of alloy according to shape of produced particles. Spherical. Lath cut, and. Admixed. Classification of alloy according to alloy content. Uni composition, and. Admixed. Composition of amalgam. Basic components of amalgam are silver, copper, tin, and mercury. Other components are zinc, indium, and palladium. Function of each constituents. Now let's discuss the functions of each and every components of an alloy. First silver. It contributes to strength of finished amalgam restoration, 
which is very important in case of the posterior teeth restoration, which has to bear heavy occlusal loads, so if restoration has not good strength, it might get fractured and dislodged from the cavity preparation. Silver decreases the flow and creep of the amalgam. Decreased flow helps in proper manipulation of the amalgam and decreased creep is good for marginal integrity. Silver decreases the tarnish. Tarnish is the loss of surface luster. So in case of the decreased tarnish, bacterial adhesion on the surface will reduce. Silver regulates the setting time, which is important for proper manipulation of the amalgam. Now let's discuss the functions of tin. Tin reduces the expansion of the dental amalgam, which is important because, if expansion of the restoration occurs, the restoration will extrude from the cavity and there will be pain, and also chances of bacterial aggregation and secondary caries. Tin controls the rate of reaction for proper manipulation. Function of Copper Copper improves the strength of the resulting amalgam, but if in excess, it leads to expansion on setting. Function of Zinc Zinc acts as a scavenger or deoxidizer. So, what is the term scavenger means? During manufacturing, zinc prevents the formation of oxides on copper, silver, and tin. During manufacturing of an amalgam alloy, all the constituents of an alloy, like copper, silver, tin, palladium, zinc, are melted at high temperature. So, during this melting procedure, oxidation of the metals is going to take place. An oxidation of these constituents can lead to the change in the properties of an alloy, but zinc will act as a scavenger, and prevents the oxidation of the other metals, by rapidly reacting with oxygen. Here zinc oxide is formed but it can be easily removed. There is one disadvantage with zinc containing alloy, that is if zinc containing alloy somehow got contaminated with moisture or saliva, the delayed expansion will occur. Which is very painful for the patient. Delayed expansion occurs after 3 to 5 days. Indium and palladium will help to increase the plasticity and the resistance to deformation.